Hello and uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to compare these two awesome Japanese cars uh, I have done an individual video already before um, but the, I have never actually compared side by side and I'm um, thinking that which one is going to be the better model car in this case now this is a uh, Honda NXX uh, which is the latest version in America they call it Aqua or Acura or I don't know how you call it properly and this one is Lexus LC500 now this is the uh, similar rival to the uh, Mercedes S-Class or BMW X series so this is more of the grand touring more of a luxury sports car and then this one is more of a track sports car okay so this one is rival to like Audi R8 or the Porsche 911 so they are very famous in Japan and of course there is a Nissan GTR as well. Nissan GTR is more of a street racing car and you know and they can include it in here as well I suppose but I don't have it on a die cars 118 scale and the only one that I can find on the die cars in Maestro standard version is a very old model and I don't really like those uh, Maestro one so I'm not gonna get it. So hopefully one day someone do the uh, latest, you know, Nissan GTR look on the uh, die cars. Then obviously I want to go for it. Um, I want to have the uh, all three Japanese famous, you know, cars in my collection. So I have two here. I need just one more. Now anyway, let's talk about these two cars. Uh, I really think they're both awesome. And uh, one says this is Comfy made by, and then this one is someone told me from the seller from the eBay said this is the. Um, Almost real. Now, I do not know whether it's true or not because I look at all the almost real models and none of them have the heat lines on the rear windows. And only Comfy do that. All right, so Comfy do that. And I also have it on Rose White Cunningham. It's also the same. So I don't know who made this one. I cannot tell at all. There is no <coughs> labels or only a box says uh, who made it. So it could be a complete mystery. But uh, nevertheless, this is a really awesome car. And uh, so let's look at it in detail. And let's start with uh, Aqua. Okay, let's pause this guy for a second. And then uh, let's look at this one to start with. So they are both very heavy. Okay, this is one thing I love about die cars because die cars models are nice and heavy and not like composite. So I keep saying it all the time. I really hate composite models and people who uh, you know love auto art. Uh, I'm sure that they are you know um, equally good as auto art. Now some people say, oh yeah, auto art is better. It has more detail. But actually, I don't agree with that because a friend of mine is a collector on an auto art. I've been to his house. I have seen all his model cars in auto art. He had the Koenigsegg, he got so many different motor cars in his living room. Uh, I look at it and um, they are not much different at all actually. Uh, in fact, uh, I think these cars have a bit more detail than auto art. So um, anyway, so since I don't have it in my collection, uh, I can't actually say anything much too much about auto art. The only thing I can say is based on what I have seen when I visit his house. But anyway, so let's look at these two cars. Now the first impression, the paint job is awesome. All right, so the paint is really good and there is no uh, inconsistency or blobby or anything like that. Now, one thing I did not notice in my previous uh, video is that I thought this die cast piece on the roof is actually uh, one giant piece together with the body. Now, in my, um, I thought that some motor cars are there actually like LCD, for example, if they have a carbon fiber roof on there, they are basically plastic, all right? It's not die cast. In this one, you can see that they're all one giant piece. You see the blue paint and the black paint, they're actually like blending together. It's really nice, actually. This is an all solid die cast roof. It's not plastic. So that is awesome. And uh, another thing that I would like is in the campfire that they use a lot of uh, see-through mesh. Yeah, this is really nice. Every single grill here you can see uh, is actually see-through. Okay, it's all very nice. You got all here. You got all grills. They are all see-through. Uh, a little bit here as well underneath there, but not much in the middle. And um, all the chrome part that you see here, they looks like a real chrome as well. Uh, they are plastic, obviously, but they are actually very decent detail in there. And so is the engine. So it's not much to see here on the engine, but that still nevertheless is really good detail. You got little grill plastic there and so on and so forth. So it has struck there. So there is no massive dot like hinge in here. All right. So that's a one good thing. Um, so. 
The first impression is really awesome. I have no complaint with this uh, Aqua at all. So the logo is actually on there. It's not a sticker, which is nice. Interior also very nice. So you can see all the little details in there, all the dial, all the sat nav, all the sticker, all the little buttons and dials, and they all you can see it. That it's really nice detail. You got carpet there. You got seat belt there. The seat can actually move forward and backward. So a little little detail like this is actually really you know nice here, and all the different part on the door panel as well, which is really nice. Um, I really love it. And also the uh, paint job, right? Unlike auto up and they cut cost and cheapskate all right i hate that part right and every hidden part in the auto art they count like uh, the paint job is not good okay but in here they are not they put all this equal level of paint and they all interior and outside they don't cut cost here which is awesome that's really nice right so i really love it and also you got little NX logos here and you got see through grill on here as well All right so this is also nice um so on the side panel this is really nice that they're all um suspension in there as well so they're nice and soft All right nice kick and then they're clear plastic for the light detail this is really good it's better than Nora or almost real uh, i think the light detail on this NX is awesome i uh, i really love it and uh, all the detail underneath there, which is not much, but they do have a nice carbon fiber effects in here. Now, this is quite heavy model, right? So I feel like this is more like a one kilo, definitely for sure. Uh, even though it is a smaller cars than the uh, La Rose by Cunningham, but I feel like this is about the same weight or maybe slightly less weight than the Rose by Cunningham, but uh, I'm just saying. Now, the only downside I would say is that these mirrors are not foldable and then there is no open uh, able uh, fuel cup which is fine i'm not really fast about this but um, what i really like there is another thing is in this uh, engine tray okay so if you look at the uh, this one from the audi r8 that i have before <coughs> it's completely different audi r8 has one tiny little plastic panel and that's it it's like a glass like a you know like a paper here is really chunky and thick right that is how it's supposed to be this is feel premium here and also you see that there is underneath that there is some kind of soft material in there as well like a carpet in there and also in this area so these are hidden area you know people don't really notice about these things and they don't have to put that kind of uh, attention to detail but they did right that's one thing i really like about comfy and all the little uh, stainless steel dotted in here as well to make it look different in here which is really nice and also the um the engine has the uh see-through mesh in there as well you got heat re heated rear line uh rear window line and also you got another glass in there you got brake light here and also here it's really incredible and you got an xx logo on the uh, engine there's so much little little detail in this car you got parking sensor as well you can see that both front and back okay um so i have no complaint this car at all i don't even know this one is better than the uh the other lexx uh, i like the lexx but <laughs> then i can't tell which one is the you know clear winner in this two uh car anyway so let's look at lexx now um so let's put this car aside um the only thing i would say here is the uh, the front wheel and this is one thing that i have to nitpick and the front wheel doesn't stay straight all the time because you can see that it changed the direction very easily the reason why is that it's very loose yeah you see and uh, it's very very loose so when you push the car to the front and uh, it doesn't stay straight all the time so it will always sidetrack the link with steering wheel of course but um, it's very you know they should make it a little bit tighter in the front that's the only thing that i would say on this car all right let's look at the lexx here now lexx is awesome all right so when i get this lexx i really love it and uh, uh this is my favorite lexx um you know in in the model cars here not just lexx and all my lexx uh, car collection this is the best one i would say and um, well uh, lcd also good but this is actually not bad now the reason why i say this is this is heavier okay and you got all the detail underneath there which is lovely and again you can see there is no detail on saying that who made this 
and there is no logo or whatsoever. There is some kind of numbers there. I'm not sure what that means. So it could be a serial number or the number of car model that they made. I have no clue. But uh, it is very heavy. And now one thing I will tell you here, and it is something that you don't normally see this in a lot of car. Now I have so many motor cars, right, including LCD. None of them has this kind of tire detail. This Lexus has an incredible amount of tire detail in there. Now first you got all the uh, trim and all the threads and everything, which is nice. And you got a two different tone, right? And you also have a little bit of a uh, little dip here to say that this is where you put the tire pressure air in there. <laughs> all this little detail is incredible. You got two tone, right? That's the paint job is also amazing. And it's really nice. And also they put the you know um logo on the at uh, the tire wall. It's not painted, okay? It's trimmed it on a tire wall just like the real tire. You can see here, Bridgestone. Okay? If you turn it here, you got all the little logos. I'm not sure what it says. Um I can't actually read that. But they actually have all the little trimmed tire in here. That is incredible. You know, it's like none of the model cars has this kind of detail. You can see a bridgestone is definitely lit clear, but there's some kind of numbers and stuff in there as well. So that is really nice. Right? And the tires are nice and soft, and they got suspension here as well. Brake discs and color plus as clear as. It's all really lovely. The wheel is amazing. And unlike the uh, NXX here, so the wheel has a two different stage of the steering wheel. So you have this little size there, all right? You can move a little bit. It doesn't link with the steering wheel, but when you push it, it does actually link with the steering wheel. So when you push the car to the front, and the car will go straight. It doesn't go all over the place like the NXX. So that's a good thing. Now, if you want to push it, turn it, and it does actually work as well. So that is a nice touch here, all right? And also the light detail, the paint job is incredible. Uh, I have no complaint. Uh, one thing I would say, there is no see-through match in the front grille, which is a shame. But the Lexus logo has a clear translucent and then uh, with a blue hinted in the background, which is nice. And the bumpers are chrome, right? And it is a plastic, but it feels like a real uh, metal chrome here. Okay, so and you got engine has a lot of detail. You got wires and all this stuff, and then on top of that, you got magnet as well. Okay, look at that. And you got magnet cover, and you got all the little Lexus uh, logo on there as well, which is nice. And you got all the carbon fiber on the effects on the engine uh, cover as well. And then you just have to put it back on, and that's it. It's very simple and easy. And then all the strap, there is no dog leg style like the uh, sound of the uh, Norath. Okay, so this one is very nice detail. Uh, why only one complaint that I would say is the the engine bonnet has a little gap on this side and seal on this side. So maybe the alignment is slightly off. Maybe you should put a little bit more to this side than the um, the other side. So that's the only complaint that I have. But otherwise, I have no issue here. And you got a parking sensor on the front bumper. Light is actually not bad. They are not, um, they look like an actual crystal uh, effects rather than just painted uh, silver. And then the roof is not die cast, all right, not like the other one. So this one is a clear plastic with the uh, sunroof, which is easy. You just push it down, and then the sunroof is closed. If I push it down again, and then the sunroof will open. So that's um, little things and then you got the interior is also lovely and you got the seat can go forward and backward uh it's kind of stuff is it move oh yeah it does there you go and then you got a nice carpet as well and the, the glove box in here you can also open it uh, i don't want to push it too hard uh, because they're so small and they're so delicate i don't want to break anything and the gear stick can also actually move as well by the way and so it has a lot of little moving part but it doesn't have the sun visor like my rose right ghost and that's the only downside here but genuinely this is really good car all right it's incredible and also the side mirror can fold look at that and look at this detail all right so you can see the door is actually flash okay and if you want to you can keep it open 
And on top of that, you got a little Lexus logo in here as well. Look at this. How cool is that? <laughs> and of course, it doesn't have the fuel cap open. That is another downside here. Uh, but obviously, I can't complain every single detail here, right? So, I mean, they have a lot of moving little parts already in this car. I can't say that this is, you know, uh, they don't put that much. They do actually put a lot of stuff in there. At the back, also nice. The light details are good. You got 3D effects there. That Also, this boot trunk is also nice. You got another magnet part here to see the battery. Okay, so, and then you got, uh, you know, um, carpeted. Uh, cover with a magnet piece you just put it back on uh, which is nice and then you got all the uh, parking sensors and stuff here exhaust is also nice and you can even see the uh, little two round circle on the uh, exhaust pipe um, yeah can you see that it's a little bit dark in here but it is there so there we are um, if you ask me which one is better model um, I have no clue I like both of these cars and they both awesome in their own way. Now let's measure this up. Um which one is heavier? I will say Lexa is probably heavier, okay, because this one always feels like a wall machine that I have. Okay, so it says 1.26 and uh, kilo, so this is definitely heavier. Now let's do the uh, NXX. I think this is about one kilo. Let's see. Um, just over one kilo, so this is a little bit lighter. Now, nevertheless, they are die cars, okay, and they are really nice detail. So, if you ask me which one is a winner, I would say on the surface, on the outside look, I would say this one is definitely better because it has used all their see-through mesh and a carbon fiber. With on the roof and this is the actual die cast piece as well and the surface looks this car is amazing okay i don't care what anybody say and they might say ah this is not good as the auto out boohoo well i don't care <laughs> i would say this is really good and this is better than the auto art in my opinion but okay you have your own opinion but then for the interior wise i would say lexus is better because it has a little bit more moving part and a little bit more uh, details in terms of the uh, uh, seat belts and all this stuff there. This is a little bit more in the interior size. Outside is also not bad. I mean, I'm not saying this is not good, but this is actually not bad at all. I mean, I actually like both of them. I don't know what to say. Uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's all down to the preference. Personally, I think I'm going to include both of them as well as some of my LCD and my Rolls Royce in my final collection and they're saying that this is going to be my the best model of the year that I have collected in this 2021. So there we are. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers.